Hey guys, welcome back. I'm wearing the same exact thing as my previous video because I decided it would just take too much time to switch my shirt, put on a necklace, try to look glamorous, but honestly, this is what I normally just wear at home. I'm super chill when I'm home. I love to be comfortable. Um, pajamas, sweats, and then when I go out, that's when I'll get a little fancier, but I'm not like a fashionista, this crazy style. I would love to be and I love learning new like styling stuff but I'm really chill like when it comes to like attire this video is going to be on let me set it up of course um yeah this video is going to be on oh my gosh my ad just <laughs> This video is going to be on my first Ipsy bag. So if you have Ipsy, you know that once you get this fluorescent neon pink pouch, your Ipsy's here. And I saw it on my um, table and because I didn't get the mail yesterday and I was like, oh my God, finally. All right, so I decided to join Ipsy because I told myself I'm not going to um, buy makeup anymore because I have too much makeup and I figured this is kind of like avoiding me purchasing because I know I'm going to get something in the mail. Well, I'm trying, trying not to buy makeup. So yeah, you get the pink bag and then this came inside of it which is crispy, dusty, I don't know, and it says girl meets glitter. I love glitter. I have glitter on my eyes. Well, like shimmery eyeshadow. I love everything about glitter. So I thought that was cute. And I actually love these two girls. Like I follow them on YouTube and their Instagram. And they're like so hilarious and so art artistic and perfect with their makeup. And I don't know. They're just they just seem so chill and cool to like hang out with. I just, I don't know, I love um, watching YouTube videos of girls who are relatable and similar in skin tone and they're Hispanic. I, yeah, I think they're both Hispanic, so I don't know. Go Latinas. Anyways, let's get to the goods. It's gonna be a pretty short video, except I rant and blab like a mother, so. <laughs> what? Okay, so inside comes this cute little, um, silver pouch with pink zipper little thing it says ipsy and it's just silver glitter and i love it i thought our, our blah, 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 blah. i thought or i was thinking to myself how this would be even cuter if it was gold because gold and pink i think that looks cute but nonetheless it's adorable i love everything about glitter if you watch my previous videos i stress like madly how much i love glitter and shimmer and all that stuff so this is a really cute bag not that I need any more makeup bags but it's cute and I got five things inside so I'm going to talk about them all right so the first thing here is a be a bombshell shale be a bombshell um, eye base which is like a cream shadow or you can use it as an eye base which is what it says there and it's in the color Submissive, super 50 shades of gray related. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, you know, it's funny that I see people talk about be a bombshell and I always think it's be a bombshell, not be a bombshell. But now I know because be a bombshell. <laughs> Actually, I found out on Hope Look that it's be a bombshell because they were on sale but i didn't buy anything i just like looking what's on sale at Hotlook, but i never buy i hate online shopping i hate it i'm a very impatient person so i don't know but these are cool because it's like through the mail and you don't know what's coming versus you trying to find out what you want to buy uh, do you know what i mean i just am not an online shopper um so here is a it's a full size i'm guessing it looks like a uh, MAC paint pot situation it looks like the Maybelline color tattoos exactly like that little container and it's a very nice uh, goldish gold um, 
if you could focus. Very, sh a lot of sheen, and it's really light. It's just like a light champagne gold, which I like, really like, and I actually used it today right underneath the MAC, uh, MAC Tan pigment that I put on top, and it worked really nicely. Um, I did put this on first and then put on the Too Faced Tattoo, or not Tattoo, Too Faced uh, Glue Adhesive, Glitter Glue Adhesive right on top. So, I don't know. I really like how, like, the color, like, really popped and everything. But I just think it's a little pointless for these eye bases. Like, if you're going to have this really nice color, like, why don't you just wear it? I Like, I see everyone putting these on and then adding shadow on top for that extra touch. But it's, like, almost pointless to me. Like, for an eyeshadow base to have color because you're going to add something on top. I know it enhances it and everything, but I don't know. Like, why don't people rock this on its own? Is it not enough? Maybe I'll try it today. Uh, not today. Maybe I'll try it in the future just to wear it alone and see if it creases or whatever. But I don't know, I, I always think like, why are you using a really pretty green base and putting something on top? I don't know. It's, you know, this would be really quick to just wear. Just my opinion. I just always get confused with that. Next, I got the Glam Glow. I've actually been eyeing this at Sephora and this green one too, because it's for like oily skin. And do I need to say this a hundred times? My skin is so oily, it's disgusting. Um, so I try to, um, always look for some sort of oil control. I'm really bad at, like, having a, a, a cleansing, facial cleansing, like, routine. Um, because I wash my face every day with just a wipe and then I rinse it off. But I don't really, um, use a cleanser and toner and moisturizer and all that. I mean, I use a moisturizer every day, but I don't use, like, the cleansing stuff every day. Um, but I should because I do get like acne and little spots. Um, I have really sensitive skin. So I'm trying to get more into it. It's just I'm really bad at routines. The only routine I'm good at is being on my phone. <laughs> so yeah, I got the Glam Glow in the Power Mud Dual Cleanse Treatment. Yeah, that's what it says. And it says... Uh, it transforms into cleansing oil treatment. I don't know. I just know this one is for oily skin. Next is a hand cream. A Be Delectable from Cake Beauty Strawberry and Cream. Um, shea butter, coconut oil, aloe vera. It's made with it. So this is a pretty generous size. So you get a full eye base, full size eye base. I'm sure this is a full size hand cream. Usually they come in smaller tubes, full like normally. So it definitely I'm the worst to describe like when people say I'm the worst to describe scents, I'm the worst to describe I cannot smell any it's awful. But I do um actually appreciate this because I go through hand cream like crazy because I have extremely dry hands and um it's because of my thyroid. I have, or I had my thyroid removed when I was 21 because I got cancer. And um, one of the side effects is extremely dry skin because of all the hormones and everything that is just, because the thyroid works with your hormones, your metabolism, da da da. Like everything is just like literally drying out. Like my hands are super dry. My feet get really dry. My eyeballs, like they're super chronic dry eyes. So I have to use like prescription eye drops. Like I can't just use regular or like the fake artificial tears because it's just not enough. So maybe I'll do a video in the future on all my problems in this wonderful body that I have. Um, yeah, I just have tons of problems. So that's just one of my problems. So I really appreciate a hand cream um, because I always have them in my purse. Like within the last maybe three months, three to four months, my hands have just been extremely dry and I don't know, it sucks, but whatevs. Um, next I have a jcat beauty, I think it's our j.ca, but there's like a little cat at the end, I don't know, j 
Jcat, yeah, I was right. Yes, Jcat Beauty They're from California. This is a Wonder lip paint, and it doesn't say what color. Oh yeah, matte splatter. So this color is completely up my alley. Um, my best friend, she gets Ipsy and Ipsy. She gets Ipsy, and she actually doesn't really. I, I'm assuming she doesn't like this color because she's like, all I keep getting is like plum lipstick, and I'm like, I love plum lipstick. Um. So I'm just shaking it because I actually tried to swatch it yesterday and it was super runny. So there we go. Um, this is supposed to be, I'm assuming something like the OCC Lip Tars, but this is a lot more watery. Like, do you see how like thin it is, but it still has like a good color and it's super, super shiny, super shiny. Um, but yeah, this is really nice. I like it. Um, I guess it's more like of a gloss in a tube. I don't know. A little messy, but I love the color and I'll use it. And the next and lastly is Starlux Eyeliner in Ultra Orchid. It's a gem pencil. So like the little tube has like a bunch of glitter on it because the actual, um, pencil has glitter on it and the glitter seems to be like gold here we go so this is it see how like it has a sheen to it it's like a gold almost but it just like effortlessly goes on really smooth and creamy which I really like um I don't know I think it'd look nice as like a eyeliner or in your waterline or like yeah waterline and right on your lash line to smudge out I don't really wear anything on my bottom lashes but um, this would be nice to put on top or even use as a base because everyone wants to use a base and then put eyeshadow on top anyways that was my ipsy um, hope you guys liked it and um, I'm really happy with it my friend was telling me how um, usually they give first time ipsy um subscribers or their first time ipsy people customers a really nice bag um and then throughout the time span of you having ipsy they, you kind of get crappy stuff like she's almost willing to cancel it i think she's going to cancel it cancel it i have a weird accent today um i think she's going to cancel it because hers sucked this month and she said she's been getting a lot of like NYC and wet and wild. I mean, nothing's wrong with that. But when you can get glam glow and like these lip things, this is like a full size and eyeliner and all that. Um, of course, you know, you're going to want the better stuff. And there was like Laura Mercier. There was like a fan brush that she said, I've been wanting that. And there was actually like a bye bye under eye by It Cosmetics. Um, she was showing me, um, I guess online you can see what you could have possibly gotten. I think it's definitely completely different than Birchbox. I actually prefer Ipsy because I personally had Birchbox and I really like this one because it's basically all makeup and I love makeup. I really don't care for skincare. I don't care for perfumes. I don't care for um, hair products. None of that. I just give me the makeup and we're good to go. So yeah, that was basically it. If you wanna learn how to do this hairstyle, very loose, natural curls, very effortless, and extremely easy and quickly to do, um, go ahead and watch my video that I filmed lastly. I'll link it down below. And again, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys want me to do because I don't know, like right now I had time and this is what I'm doing, so yes. I don't know what to do. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video. I just got a gloss all over me. Bye!